And as UCLA is now trying to move past this week's campus chaos, Fox 11 is speaking exclusively with one of the private security workers assigned to that encampment. This is both sides' voice frustrations with how the university handled everything. Fox 11's Matthew Seedorf live once again for us tonight at UCLA. Matthew. Alex, it's amazing how quiet the campus is. Really, other than police, there's not a lot of people walking around. But as you mentioned, we're now hearing from one of those private security workers hired here for security during this camp. And he explains what he believes was the turning point. Authorities now on constant patrol at UCLA. LAPD even setting up a staging center. Early Thursday morning, 210 pro-Palestinian protesters here arrested after a week-long camp in. UCLA could have stopped this a long time ago. This member of CSC Los Angeles wants to stay anonymous out of fear of losing his job. The company typically used for sporting events and concerts, hired by UCLA to keep protesters safe. The campus felt it was unjust that UCLA was catering to the Palestinian side. Late Tuesday night, counter protesters took aim at the camp. Fireworks and bear spray deployed, at least 15 people injured, some beaten. They figured out how the whole system works. And once we realized this was a public spot and security has no rights to, to stop them, that's when they made a counterattack. A lot of students went to the hospital, a lot of blood. What do you think would have stopped it? But just, I think, with just the presence of the, uh, the police force. I saw. A 19-year-old girl with blood dripping down her face, her face beaten. Aiden Doyle, a pro-Palestinian UCLA student, injured Tuesday night. Uh, I was stabbed with a metal rod by one of the counter-protesters. Also very painful is the hammer that was thrown on my leg. And while that all happened, Chancellor Jean Block washed on from Royce Hall and did nothing. Leadership, they have failed. Pro-Israel supporters also frustrated with UCLA leadership and the protesters. We had wristbands for students, so only certain students were able to enter the encampment. Pictures show graffiti, some view offensive towards Jewish people. It hurt a lot of Jewish students on campus and it made us feel incredibly uneasy. Three sides appear upset with how the university handled the camp in. <laughs> also wondering where were police during the violence. If the police was around, none of this was a, wasn't even going to happen. Police continue investigating that violent clash from Tuesday night, but they say that there could be arrest at some point. We've tried reaching out and trying to speak with UCLA staff on campus. So far, they say no. Reporting live tonight, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 11 News.